Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. This is as good a time as any to start, I suppose. I know in the previous video I said we were going to go back to a Sailor's Guild, and, well, <laughs> hand in our discoveries, but I've just found one. So, there we go, the long line, apparently. It is said that the long line fishing was developed by an by ancient Euphotomans. Uh, as a way to effectively catch fish that don't travel in big schools. This was believed, uh, it is believed that this one, or well, this was one of the first long lines ever created. Well, okay, cool, there we go. I uh, also found some funky looking fish over here, of which we did actually manage to catch quite a few of them. But they're gone now, anyway. Uh, I was also grinding here for some time getting uh, large quantities of money and killing large quantities of loopers which as we all know is you know pretty much always a, really always a good time come on one of you guys can hit it there we go yeah not quite so worth it I think but everyone's gone up like at least one level possibly two since the last video anywho Let's finally get out of here. I'm kind of running out of loopers here to fight by the look of things. It's pretty cool sometimes when you get like eight loopers and they're all the same color. There we go. Kill them all! Nice. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely not getting uh, as many as we were. Let's just try and get into another fight. Is there a reason for that? Yes! I was getting loads of them before. I wonder what's going on. Is it caps? How many you can grind? Uh, I don't know. I've probably done this for about, I don't know, not, not too long. 10, 20 minutes maybe. Wow. Yeah, you can see not all loopers are the same. That's putting it mildly. Uh, we also got a lot of seeds, like dextra seeds and things. Which is always fun. Let's try and get one more. Oh, wow. Look, yeah. These are all like the normal grey ones. Interesting. So this one won't probably be quite as lucrative. Although, luckily, they didn't run away. Which is always nice. We don't like our enemies running away. Yeah. It's like worth nothing. Wow. Wow. So, note to self, um, the standard grey loopers are literally worth nothing. Hey, what about the green ones then? Alright, so I guess there isn't actually any kind of like heart cap on it. It's just completely RNG, which is fine. I think the purple ones are worth a hell of a lot. Not sure about the green ones. Yeah, green ones are worth a lot of money. Not so much XP, but... I'm getting lots of black maps, too. This is just fun, man. I really enjoy just going around here and... Um, just harvesting these guys. Ooh, red. The red ones, I think, were quite lucrative, if memory serves. I haven't exactly been studying what's worth what, but... You know. Ooh, he's incremed himself. Well, that was silly. What a waste of a turn that was. He has also encrumbed himself. Well, welcome to die. How did that go? Yeah, okay. Still financially rewarding. If not um, super lucrative. Right, go on, go on, really this time, one, one more, one more, oh god, it's these guys again, yeah, that's a shame, shame it wasn't a better colour, but fine, whatever, we'll take it, we'll take it because we don't have any choice, I was hoping to get some, like, more dextra seeds or something, but hey, whatever, yo, so how much gold are we up to now? Wow. <laughs> so I've 
basically off camera ground out nearly 80,000 gold in not a huge amount of time right so let's have a look at our dextra seed things um, I can't remember what the dextra seeds actually do I think it's there we go oh we've got three of those increase agile by one who wants agility eh eh I don't know one each, I suppose, more or less. Any other seeds? Not really. Oh, we've got three jams. Feed them to pupil. Okay, cool. Right, anyway, let's head on to what's closest? North Ocean. Ah, uh, the bistro. Um, I guess Sailor's Island. Whip back to Sailor's Island. If we go east, yeah, pretty much this way. All right, full steam ahead. Let's go. And we can hand in these lovely, lovely um, discoveries. Boop. Okay, let's go make some money. I wonder if it's worth selling our fish, just to clear them out of our inventory. No other reason. Hey dude, you still form black pirates open? Yeah, we know, we know dude, we know. And this isn't even the, s where's the sailor's guild here? Oh, it's right next to the bloody entrance, isn't it? Man, I'm a bell end. There we go. Now, I'm not sure how much we're going to get for these discoveries, but... Money is money. Uh, yeah. So, let's sell. Whoa. Okay, so the Sky Train's worth a decent chunk. And that puts us over 600 grand. Not bad. Now, does he have anything to buy? No. Okay. Oh, is there any bounties? We've done him, done him, done loose cannon lapping, we've done them, done them. Right. Riding aboard a gold, gold ship plated in gold. This pirate has been known to attack all who cross this path. A wealthy Yifatoman. He's been seen travelling near the lands of ice. It's said that he throws money as opponents, confusing them in a fight. Okay, I mean, that's crazy. Ah, Lord Zevian Bane. So that's the supposed leader of an infamous clan of bandits. Nothing is known about the, his true identity. Nobody knows where he's from. Little is known about his fighting tactics other than his use of explosive powder. Avoid this attack at all costs. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, we've got that to do, I guess. Right. Cool. Okay. Now let's get out of here. Get back to the ship. Sure. Now our next point of call, port of call, is apparently this way. Somewhere in this region, there is a discovery. Let's go. Let's go high above the clouds. North, kind of east, sort of direction. Of course, if we bump into anything on the way, we can always grab it. It's not a problem. Oh. Where is... Okay. No, not quite there. So, what is this? Is this what we're looking for? Yep. You have found the mother tree. Excellent. 
This tree is revered by the Yiffetomans in one of their ancient scriptures. It says that he who climbs to the top of this tree will someday conquer the world. The tree is now 2,000 years old. To this day, no one has ever made it to the top. Well, there we go. There we go indeed. So the next one is the ghost ship. Now this one is going to be a little bit more of a pain in the butt. Mainly because it's one of those ones that floats around. So we need to go south. Ooh. Was I crazy? Did I just see a discovery? Maybe not. It might have just been a ship. Could have just been a ship. Probably was just a ship. Alright, let's go. Let's keep going. So, the ghost ship. This one is going to be a little bit more of a pain. So, it travels kind of around this sort of direction. Yeah, kind of around here. So now, we're going to have to hunt it down. But that's fine. Where are you? In fact, oops, we've gone way off target. So it travels from a box sort of shape around here. Okay. This one's definitely going to be a little bit more tricky to find. I think. But I guess... We could probably... Wait for it to come to us, maybe? I mean, I guess we're gonna get... We, we were going to see it. Um... Right. Okay, so apparently we could actually wait for it at Esperanza, which would probably be the best way of doing it. Now, it can take over 10 minutes if you wait for it normally, but luckily we have the power to fast forward the game. <laughs> so we are absolutely going to be abusing that. Is that what we're looking for? Are we there? Uh, no, apparently we're not there. You would have thought that I would be better at captaining this ship by now. Well, you're wrong. Now. Now we wait, apparently. I'm not really sure where we're supposed to look. Or what we're really waiting for. I'm guessing it's some decrepit ship. But that's fine. I mean, logic is telling me it's going to be flying in this direction sooner or later. Hopefully we don't miss it. Because that would be pretty frustrating. Not going to lie. Come on. Now, the only thing is, I don't really know by, like, how much this speeds the game up. Like, I don't know if we're now going at, like, you know, four times, five times speed. <laughs> Who knows? Come on. Come to daddy. Apparently, this is one of the harder difficult, um, one of the harder discoveries to find in the game, and I can absolutely see that. Especially if it basically relies on you just being patient and waiting. Not exactly a super fan of that, but there is another way 
which I think I will try. They recommend going to sp going and docking. Come on. Right, and saving your game. Right, save your game. Yeah. Like so. And then reset the game. I wish there was a more elegant way of resetting this game. Uh, yes, we're going to stop the emulation. We're going to play the emulation. And load it. And apparently, um, save your game, reset it, and then leave Sprenza and fly directly southwest. Okay. Fly directly southwest. You heard it here first, folks. Right. Southwest. 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 Right, so we have to fly directly south west and we should apparently come into contact with it apparently Nothing yet. And we should see it floating. There it is. Oh, that one worked. That worked much better. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that has to be the ghost ship. You have found the ghost ship. An unmanned shipwreck that continues to wander the skies. Many sailors tell of a ghost ship that appears suddenly from the fog. Some claim that it was once the ship of the great air pirate, uh, Decat. But no evidence has been found to support it. Yeah, cool. Okay. So, next. So, this is another one that roams around upper sky and can be a bit of a pain in the butt to get. Lovely. Uh, right, okay, let's head towards. So we need to go next over here. Okay. Uh, right, value and wreckage is where we kinda need to head towards. So yeah, this way. And hopefully these flutterbys should, at some point, pass over. But we shall soon see about... Ooh, fish. Grab those. At least some of them. Right, so King's Hideout. So we need to be roughly here over the value and wreckage which should be somewhere kind of around here I guess like so um, apparently I spend a decent amount of time here Or Okay. Right, so I've got a little area mapped out of where they are. And they're kind of in this sort of area. Kind of 
here and they seem to go right the way over here and then come back this is gonna be one of these oh there's the tricyclone that we really did struggle with ah oh guys we just got lucky oh I'm happy to get lucky Flutterflies. Very happy to get lucky there. A butterfly that travels in groups in search of balloon flower nectar. The remarkable endurance allows them to cross vast spans without sleeping or resting. Also, the silk produced by their larvae is valued by its strength and resilience. Alright. Nice. Happy. Happy with that. Right, so the next thing we need to go, or the next one, is over here. We need to find the eclipse point. Which uh, means that we need to go back to the looper's nest. Kind of. Ooh, missed those fish. So let's go back. The old looper nest here, which is more or less there. Okay. Right, so something like that. And apparently, we just need to fly around here for a bit. And it should trigger. Apparently. And there's the blue moon. Or the purple moon, I should say. Man, can you imagine how hard it would have been to find some of these back in the day? Um... Right, so there's only a very small area that you can make this discovery. And it doesn't make any objects appear in the overworld. Eclipse Point is found in the center area of the Looper Territory. North from the Looper's Nest until the sky turns black. It says use the map directions. Does that actually tell us what height we should be at, though? Whether we need to be... Let's go down, because maybe... Maybe... Well, interestingly enough... It is getting very dark. Alright, well, let's fight these guys off. Ooh, green. Lots of green. Come on. Well, that actually worked surprisingly well. Come on. I hate it when it doesn't let you skip the cut, uh, the attack. All right, not bad. I could got level. We'll put up with that. Uh, right. So eclipse point. Somewhere around here. I guess we can see quite a big seam here this one I might be better off floating around um, off camera to like finally find it maybe so we're actually getting lighter around here darker around here. Ooh. Now I think we've already grabbed the... Yeah, we've already grabbed that. Yeah, this one's going to be an absolute pain to get, isn't it? Real pain. Come on. I mean, unfortunately, the... The way it's explained in this guide isn't exactly brilliant. It kind of just says, go this way. As the sky's getting black. It's 
sky is definitely getting black. I'm not sure if we have to like spam A or we just have to like oh ah there we go. There we go. Okay, that was weird. Like, that's such an odd discovery. You have found the eclipse point. The only place in the world where a lunar eclipse can be observed at predictable intervals. Eclipses are where a golden ring can be seen around the moon. Uh, are seen as good omens. And the complete eclipse are said to... Uh, pour, are said to portend... Portend? And then... Oh... Pretend an impending disaster. Okay, well, if you say so again. So, looper's nest. We have the looper's nest. Flying machine next. Now, flying machine is the one we actually discovered. Um, before I screwed the pooch and forgot to save the game. So, I guess we have to just go grab that one again. But luckily, now with this map, we should be able to much easier, easier time finding it. Let's have a little look, shall we? Right, so down here somewhere it should be. Now, if I was a flying machine, apparently I'd be around about here. I mean, if you say so, maybe a little bit further this way. Maybe. Ooh. This is looking familiar. Not gonna lie. Ooh, hello. Oh, yeah, we've already visited that before, didn't we? Right, where are you? Where are you, you absolute bastard? Flying machine. How do we find it, like, so randomly before? It's just like, oh, hi, by the way, here's a flying machine. So apparently a really difficult thing to find, but it's just here. Luckily, we're not getting attacked by hundreds of thousands of things, which is quite nice. Where the bloody hell is it? Fairly easy, apparently. Head over to Shrine Island. Uh, drop below into the lower sky and all you do is turn your ship south and you should see a small island floating in the distance. Okay. Well, let's go back to Shrine Island then. We'll try it your way. Mr. Guide. Uh, Shrine Island. This guy is so smart. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, son of a... It's going to be it, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Well, we found it. Odd-looking ship whose origin remain a complete mystery. The fluid design... Oh, yeah, we, we read it before, that one. So now... We're on to... 61 to 70, apparently. Actually, how many have we actually got here? How many have we done now? Discoveries. Really must be. Oof, so we've got... Th okay, we've made some real good, solid progress here. I don't think it's hopefully going to take us too long to find the rest. So, anyway, guys, uh, you know what? We'll go for one more. Have we got the value in wreckage? Pretty sure we have got the value in wreckage. So... Yep, yeah, we got the value in wreckage. We've already got that one. Nice. Rab rabats. And now we need to find rabats. Okay, that's just north of the dancing lights, and they were there somewhere. Cool. So, let's go north and get the flock out of here. Like so. 
Now, if I was a rabbit, where apparently would I be? There's the dancing lights. The rabbits. Oh, God. Hello. Is that them? Apparently so. You found the rabbits. Excellent. A strange creature that spends its entire life hanging upside down by digging its claws into the rock face. Until it was discovered underneath the Valium continent, it was thought to be a myth. Its intelligence and ferocity belay its cute appearance. Yeah. Well, you can say that about rabbits, I suppose. So, now, bottomless pit. We've got to go back to Shrine Island. Because, of course, we do. I should really sign this video off, but I just want to get as many um, discoveries done as possible, really. I think the next few videos are probably just going to be discoveries, but that's okay, because once they're done, they're done. And I'm kind of looking forward to getting them all. Like I said, I've never got all the discoveries before. This is completely new ground for me. Um, okay. So, bottomless pit should be somewhere, I guess, round about here. Bottomless pit. Where are you? Where are you? So, what does the guide say? It says, go to Shrine Island. So, to find this discovery, start at Shrine Island. Head almost directly west and very slightly north. So, that, basically. In Lower Sky. After passing both of the white rifts, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Bottomless pit. A chimney like rocky mountain with a hollow center rising up from the great cloud sea. From the depths of the pit, it is said that a woman's weeping can be heard in the wind. Wow, that's chilling. Uh, could this be the mythical entrance to the land of the dead? Ooh. 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 That one's a bit good. I like that. So we have ancient fish next. Did we get the ancient fish? That sounds awfully familiar. Ancient fish. Not Definitely sounds familiar. Well, maybe not. I guess not. Right, so the ancient fish is near. Start directly. Right, ancient fish. Okay, so we need to go to the dark rift. Kind of, anyway. Not quite to the dark rift, but close enough. So let's venture southeast. We're really racking up the mileage on this, uh, on the Delphinus, aren't we? That's okay. Breaking her in. First rate ship of the line. Okay, so. We should be somewhere approaching where we need to be. We can't go under this, can we? But we can go above it, I believe. Come on. Raise! There we go. Nice. So we need to go right down. And our little fish friend. Sh ah, I think I just saw it. Oh, there it is. You found the ancient fish. A species of fish that was believed to have been extinct millions of years ago. Its vestigial gills and fins look like hands and feet. Really? Seem to point to an evolutionary path from the waters to dry land and then to the skies. Okay. Another one down. Now, I believe... The next few 
So we've got the next few, haven't we? So we can skip ahead until the uh, map of ages. So we've got that. We've got comma rock. We've got um, the pole. We've got the wings of gold. Giant's hammer. Uh, we've got the Tricyclone, we've got the Map of Ages. Map of Ages. Balloon Seed. Did we not get the Balloon Seed? Really? balloon seed. This guy flies around in an odd shaped triangular pattern nearby Skull Rock and Crescent Isle. With Skull Rock at your back, you'll see two floating islands. Okay, well, let's go have a quick look at that one. And then we probably should call it a video because we are nearly on 40 odd minutes. And uh, I have wasted an awful lot of today um, trying to edit a video uh, that really, really, really did not want to be edited. Um, I've never had so many problems trying to edit one video with so many error messages and failed render. I've never had a failed render, uh, I don't think, since using DaVinci. But this one was an absolute kick in the balls. And if you're curious, I'm referencing Resident Evil um, Revelations. Okay, so... Skull Island. Ah, wait. We actually need to come further back this way. That's not what we want. Now this one... Where the hell are we now? We're going the wrong way. Totally the wrong way. Alright, let's go north. No, we want to go south. We want to go quite far south, apparently. Of course, we're getting blown into all sorts of different directions. Right, south and a little bit west. Quite a little bit west, actually. Now, what about now? Okay, we should be somewhere around where we need to be. See, I thought we had this bloody balloon. Right, there's the two floating islands that apparently we should see. So there is what we're looking for. Skull Rock needs to be at our back. And there's Skull Rock. So it is now at our back. Two floating islands. Right, and apparently it's going to float right on by here at some point. Well, that's kind of a pain. Hopefully it's not going to take all day. Apparently you don't have to wait too long for it. Uh, so, if you'd like to more aggressively pursue the balloon, see it flies from Skull Rock south to Crescent Isle and then from Docats Island. Normally it's found around the top of mid sky. But when it's by. Okay. Alright, so around the top. So surely we should eventually see it drifting around. See, I mean, the image is very 
different. <laughs> the one I'm looking at is very different. It doesn't seem to be that this dude is following the exact same rules that he's writing down here, but hey, okay. it is what it is. Come on. Come on. Give me what I want. It's not going to give me what I want, is it? Oh, it's going to be a bastard to get this one. This one's going to be hard, isn't it? Yep, and now we've got combat. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go find this one off camera. Uh, and then we'll come back. Right, let's just kill all these things. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video.